So we are ready to attach our bottom to the band of the bag, which is the last thing we top stitched. And uh, just, you know, if you have them already, make sure that you have your center seams marked on the short ends as well as the long ends. You will already have the long ones because of your feet marking. And of course, you already have your bag marked, your centers. So we're going to start and we're going to do right sides together. We're going to put our side face marking. I can show you. This is kind of unwieldy here, sorry. But so we're going to match up the side seam with the marking there. So I'm going to put this so I can actually see it myself. I can't work upside down, sorry. So you'll catch on in a second. So first mark, uh, not mark, attach with clips the side seam, this one. Now bring this edge and attach it to the other side seam. We're basically doing quarters, which is pretty standard for any kind of fitted piece into a bag. Put a couple of clips because these guys can pop out. There's gonna be a lot of manipulation going on here. So put a good couple of three clips on either side. So now we're going to match up these long ends, long sides with the markings for the center of the bag. Carefully. And you're going to put a good couple of three, four clips there. So, repeat for this side as well. Don't be afraid to manhandle your bag because you're the boss. Okay, so we're clipping there. Now, we're simply going to distribute the base attaching it to the band ever so carefully. And as you get to these um, sides, you may have to kind of poke it down, but you do want to keep the ends even. And we're just going around the edge. Once we get all done with this, I will take my little scissors, I love these little scissors here, and just cut a couple of snips around the rounded edges on the base just to give it some ease, okay? So we've kind of got that one going, flip it over and I'll do this side so you can see it. It's hard to show you, but I think you get the idea. So. Clip. Take your time to make sure they're aligned. Might as well do it once right the first time, even though I do always come back and double check, so I shouldn't say that. But it's a good habit. So keep going. Push the sides down a little bit into the bag. Kind of easing that corner in. workout today. Okay. Pull it from this side. There we go. Muscle in there. Okay. So basically just go around the entire bag, get this thing in attached. Clip it with abandon. Don't be spare, sparse on the clips. And then when you get all done, we'll come back and we'll do. Uh, well, actually, I'll just go ahead and clip it all with you here. 
if you get bored, you can just fast forward, okay? So, how could you possibly get bored though watching this titillating video, I ask you? See my pretty posh bag from Needle and Anchor, Carissa. I love this little bag. Do that. I'm just gonna get it all put in nicely. Hopefully, you can see a sufficient amount on the video. I'm doing my best for you. tricky but that doesn't mean it can't be done it takes a little bit more perseverance sometimes okay. I'm winning just so you know know how I have a thing for over clipping. It just doesn't let the bag slip that way. And we have our last little bit to pop into the scene. She wants to fight me, but she can't because I will win. We'll just pull her through this way. Okay. And I know you can't see it, but you'll be able to see it in the end. So. I do need to adjust a little bit on some of these edges, which I'll do, but I won't bore you with that. So take your snips and just where you, if you have a couple of little tiny little puckers on the base, not the body bag, just do a couple of little snips and that will let it ease into the space easier. And you can ease on down, ease on down the way. Sorry about that getting punchy since we're getting close to the end. All right, so now it fits much better. So go ahead and uh, get all your clips attached, do your snips, make sure everything is evenly distributed. Um, just give it, you know, a good, good once over. And then we will um, be sewing this. And gosh, I can't believe we're almost done. So I have uh, kind of taken one more look at my, uh, make sure all the, Everything is lined up to the best of my ability. Make any adjustments, now is the time. And um, it's not a bad idea to, if you can, kind of just someplace where it's light, if you can peer into your bag, which I know you probably can't see inside my black bag here, but um, just see if you see any um, puckers. If you do, you can adjust them with your clips now better now than later. So I have adjusted my camera view so that hopefully you'll be able to get a better view of what I'm doing instead of my typical from this side. So I'm going to just sew. I've got my seam allowance, my stitch length set to three and a half. And we're just gonna start, I'm gonna start in the middle. Doesn't really matter where you start. And you're, uh, we're gonna sew so that the, uh, the base is face up. And you, you can follow the uh, interfacing, the foam, as your stitch guide because we cut that three eighths of an inch less. So it's kind of cool. But always rely on the actual stitch uh, seam allowance. We're going to go. I'm going to stop talking. That's what I always say, huh? <laughs> okay, we're going. And we are just stitching in the round. We're going to take our time, especially when we get around the corners. Nothing is hard. It's just sewing. Okay. 
don't move, don't take the clips off until you uh, are ready to sew that section. Sometimes they have a mind of their own, anyhow. And we're just going to kind of manipulate the bag towards you a little bit at a time. And so, keep following that seam allowance that uh, of the interfacing as your guide. All my clips are coming off. We'll put them back on when we get to that spot. Okay, so you're just going to keep on pulling the bag up and around so you can stitch. Make sure everything stays lined up as much as possible. And you can see it's kind of awkward the way it's uh, standing up like that, but that's how we have to do it so that we can sew this bag on the flatbed machine in the round. It's not a big deal. I've done so many of these now. Okay. Making sure that we stay together. And we're coming along this next long edge, which is good. aligned. Telling the bag who's the boss. You're the boss, Kelly. I know. And hoping you can see for the most part, well, better than the other direction. going to move her around as we go through the curve part. Give her a little boost. We're sewing the circle of the curved edges. Taking it slow. Don't sew your fingers. And just finishing out the rounded edge. Mosh her down. My clips came undone. Yeah, so I will put them back just to keep everything in check. There you go. And come back here. Okay. And if you want, you can push it from the inside, the seam, if it comes out a little bit. Okay, well. It's hard to grab onto. Okay. And we're just coming along the edge. Make sure it's lined up. Smush it down, it might be easy. Smushing it down. And come up to our original sink. Get rid of that key. Get our scissors. Sorry about that. So, all sewn. Looks pretty darn good. Do a peek inside for any major wrinkles. I don't see any myself. If you want, you can turn it, uh, but I don't think we need to. So I 
prefer to sew it twice myself along the same um, stitch line just so it's reinforced because that's a pretty hefty bag and it's going to bear the weight of the bag's contents so that's just me so I'm going to do that um, if, you can, if you wish to you can too but for now I'll stop the video and uh, we're going to be ready to put the lining in and wrap this baby up okay so I uh, I decided to go ahead and turn my bag a little bit and uh, I did have one little small goober so I uh, decided to uh, I fixed it and then I decided to go ahead and sew all the way around you may want to do that too it's a good reinforcement stitch so we're done with that and now I would trim the seam the bottom the base just trim it around like maybe an eighth of an inch trim it around so uh, you don't have too much bulk when you go to turn your beautiful bottom. So great job everybody. Next up I think we're going to uh, see attach the lining to the bag, turn it, and then we're going to add our uh, straps. So making great progress. <laughs>